Good morning, or as they say here, Bom Dia from southern Angola. This is the city of Lubango. There's a bit of a fire happening over there, as you can see. I don't know what's happening there. And then we have some mountains overlooking the city. I'm about to head down there. You can see some guys playing football. Maybe I'll join them, but probably not. Just leaving the hotel, look at it. These three pink, odd looking buildings in the middle of nowhere. If you look really closely up there, you can see a Christ statue on the top ridge there, similar to the one in Rio. If you didn't already know, Angola is, was a former Portuguese uh, colony and colonized by the, by the Portuguese, so it's very, very Portuguese. Everyone speaks Portuguese. The food is very Portuguese. Um, I imagine it to be very similar to a place like Brazil, even similar type of culture. They love their football, as you can see over here. Um, they love their music and dancing and their party life. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a thriving place, which has seen a lot of difficulties in recent years with conflicts um, between the local people and the, the Portuguese colonizers and then following all of that there was a lot of internal conflict between the different tribes and civil war has only recently finished about eight or so years ago and now things are, are rapidly growing there's a lot of growth here due to all the oil discoveries and this place has stabilized um, relatively well comparative to the, the other African countries in this area. So on today's agenda, we're gonna go down to this hotel first to try and get a cheaper room, because this was a little bit expensive, and then try and get a SIM card for my phone and then might do a few motorbike trips up there maybe to check that statue out and also to a place called, uh, I keep forgetting the name of it, it's called Tulavanga or something, let me just double check. Tundavala Gap, Tundavala Gap. It's a beautiful lookout across a big valley. They must have some kind of car race through the city because you can see a finish line and grid positions on the road here. It's called the 200 kilometer Dahuila 2018 to the first hotel to hopefully find a cheaper room. It's called Hotel Sierra de Shela. Doesn't look too bad. I don't know what they'll charge there. Find out. So Hotel Sierra de Shela is no go. It was about 70 or 80 US dollars a night, which is a little bit out of my budget price range. Freitas. That's the next place I'm going to try my life. Okay, they have pretty cheap accommodation, so I might try and stay there tonight. It's a good price. The road's pretty busy as you can see. Busy time in Lubango. I should have crossed then, but I was hesitating. Not sure where he's taking me. Seven, seven o'clock. Uh, okay. No, no, breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah. Okay. I'm staying at this hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Internet off. Oh, my Porsche. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'll fix later. The Porsche. Yeah. Yes. Come. See Porsche. Okay. Bye. Bye. Both. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah,
at night time? Mas vou meter já aqui. Hoje vou ligar só. Ok. I think what he's saying is that the technician will come and fix the Wi-Fi later on. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Can I have my phone back? <laughs> so, it's a little bit expensive here, but I think that's the story of the town. Everything is about fifty to sixty dollars per night, Australian dollars. I don't think I'll be able to get that much lower. And I don't want to waste the whole day looking for somewhere to stay when I could be seeing things and doing things. So uh, I might just have to bite the bullet for these few days. I'm just walking through the center of Lubango. Looks like there's a message from the president there. Maybe one of you guys can translate that for me. I'm also trying not to get run over. It's a bit hard to work out all these strange um, roads coming at all angles and the way the traffic flows. I'm a little bit trapped here. I'll go to this one. You can see where I'm walking. The road is clear. I'm on my way to the shopping mall just to get a SIM card so I can get around a bit easier and not feel so lost in this foreign place. I'm just inside the shopping mall now. It's kind of dark and I can't see anything. It's called the Millennium Mall. Millennium Shopping Centre in Lubango. Trying to find, oh here it is. I'm going to that shop. Some of you may not know, but Angola used to be a communist country and it used to be supported by Russia and Cuba during a lot of its conflicts with neighboring countries. And you can see over here, there's a bit of remaining uh, Soviet type architecture, which has seen better days. I just came from this shopping center in here got my phone up and running so I feel like I'm a bit better connected with the, the world now. I just um, asked for a quote for a taxi to go to about two or three spots and they told me it was going to cost about $70 so I think that was a bit over the top. I might try and work out another way but we'll see what happens. Tundavala Gap, Fenda Datulavala. The motorcycle trip was about 20 to 30 minutes to get here. I paid him three and a half thousand Kwanzaa to come up here and take me back to the city. Tundavala Gap in Angola. What is that town? What do you call this here? Um, Bibalo. Bibalo? Si. This is Bibalo down here. Small village. Yes. Look at all the, the forest, how intact it all is. It goes forever. So many trees and hills. It's beautiful up here. so peaceful and quiet. I haven't heard such, I haven't heard such silence like this in, 
I don't know, months. It's been pretty chaotic in Africa so far, so it's just great to hear this still sound of birds and quietness. Here's my motorbike driver. Hello. What's your name? Vicendi. Vicendi. It is Vicendi. He's a good good guy. Just another view of the Tulovanda Gap. Pretty special. The highlight of Angola so far. I think it's about time we head back. See what the time is. 3.47. Need to start moving, I think. And working out the next plan for this evening. In Lubango. I love saying that name, Lubango. Lubango, Lubango. Back in the city now, after a pretty fast downhill motorbike ride, which I wasn't too happy about. I was getting a lot of debris flicking into my eyes, which was causing a lot of um, uncomfortable feeling. Anyway, um, now I'm back in the city, and I'll just show you around. I'm just hanging out in this little cafe. The sun is just setting in this little city street and it's my birthday today I'm 30 which is a bit of a landmark milestone whatever you want to call it and I'm just here having a, a quiet drink and Angola just to, to relax after a big day I'm in Bobango some people, with some local Angolan people drinking beer. It's, it's my birthday, we have, we have a good time and I'm meeting some people. We can't speak too much, but we're making progress and everyone's happy anyway. Hello. Hello. <laughs> strong guy, he likes... I'm here with Jane, brother. For long. They're good guys, they're local, strong Angolan men. Peace. See you next time. <laughs>